Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to play, um, Shindo Life, or Shinobi Life. Um, so this is my alt account, so I'm just going to be showing you the basics of how to play. So, first you are going to start in this screen, then you just want to click the up arrow, and then you'll go to this edit screen. So you want to click the edit button, and then you can edit your character and stuff. But, um... I'll show you how to do like characters, certain characters and stuff later. Uh, so what you want to do first is go to your elements. So you already have one slot filled, and then you just want to spend for one slot. And then these are what you're gonna use for fighting. So I got lightning style. So now bloodlines are like kick out Genkai. I just want to roll you. Um, so, you can probably just search up what Genkai are good, but anyway. So, right now you want to enter a code. Um, so this is one of the current codes, but I'll leave a link in the description for the current code. So now I have a ton of spins, so I'm just gonna spin till I get a good game. Alright guys, so I finally rolled from two very good, um, uh, Genkai, so now you just want to click the play button, enter the Ember Village, which is the Leaf Village, it is the best for, um, leveling up and stuff. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the keybinds for, like, everything in existence. Alright, I... Well, it's already showing you a lot of them here, so yeah. It's left click for punch, Q for, like, a heavy. It's kind of like... Um, like a little attack thing, like you like fly forward, and then right click is for like a block. Double space is a double jump. Um, W A S and D like plus X is like a dash, and then block times jump to is substitution dodge attack. That one's kind of confusing. If you click W twice, you um like kind of like that like rush, and then if you hold down. Tr D, you charge chakra. Z, you get your mode, and those are just So, um, that would be the rush. That's the heavy. It's kind of like a little attack. And then if you go like this, what do they do? Right. Anyway, and then if you go with X, you're gonna die. Whatever direction. And if you're on top of a tree like I am, and then you hold down space, you'll launch yourself that forward. Alright, so now you want to have all the keybinds down. You want to click M for menu, so you'll have this menu. All your stats, here's your ninja tools, those will be for later though. So here is your elements, and then here's your bloodline. So I have. Dude, I wish I had these on my. Well, anyway, these are like your Genkai, so you, now what you want to do is you click and click L, and then you can see all your quests. Yeah. So, first what you want to do is probably not train here, that's scary. Your screen is so, Um... Oh yeah, and also if you mm. run like towards like a wall or something, or, like a tree, you'll kind of like do the Naruto tree climb kind of thing. And W and shift is to run, obviously. You should know that though. Let's go over here. Oh yeah. All right, so you want to find one of these training logs, and you just want to punch it till you're like level twenty-five or something. Um, so, I'll come- so 
so you want to make sure like you're about level 25 and you want to have your genkai all the way up to like well you don't need your genkai yet you want to have your elements up to level 25 so then you can um use them to um fight people so i'll just come back once i have level 25 elements Alright, so now if you go to your menu, you'll want to get to level 25 like I am for both your elements. Um, so now, by now, um, you'll probably have some quests done, so click L, and then you can see your quests, and as you see, these will give you spins, so just climb one of them. So once the notification disappears, you can climb the next one. I don't really know if you need to know that. But they give you a lot of Ryo, which is the currency in this game uh, and you get quite a few spins all right so now you want to go to your menu and when you go to your stats you'll probably see that you have quite a few points so you just want to type in like 50 and kind of just distribute them pretty much equally right. well so uh now when we go to elements you need 210 chakra to unlock. Alright, so make sure you actually put some more in chakra. Uh, I'm gonna quickly reset my stats. Alright guys, so the code is PTS3 exclamation point. So that will reset your stats. Um, so... Alright, so now you see all my stats are reset, so let's just type in... 206 go and just add 20 no, 33 33 33 one. there we go so all your other stuff's really low but your chakra will be high so go to your elements and then just click on the first move and click unlock for both of them and then just bind them to your to RMT or for mobile just do the what it says to bind it to just the first two um so now you want to go to one of these people with the green scrolls and then they'll talk to you and then you'll just accept the quest um so if you see someone with a star above their head you don't want to do those quests because they will um not give you very much xp and they take a very long time um, so, uh, if you have lightning, you can use the first lightning move, or do Fidori, it'll make you faster. I accidentally hit some that guy, but anyway, so that will help you travel here faster. You don't need it, it's just better. Alright, so, now once you're here, you wanna fight these guys. I suggest, um, just fighting one at a time when you're low, or slow. So, turn up your chakra. By holding down C. So when you're this low, I like using Kaijutsu, which is just spamming left click, just punching them. I feel like it's like easier because it's almost no damage, and you have to use like you have to get your chakra up and stuff. Alright, so I, if you see the red ramen bowl, that means you're really hungry, so you won't be gaining much, you won't be, um, regaining HP at all. So that was probably a mistake on my part, for not eating any ramen noodles. So I'll show you how to eat ramen after this fight. Wait, can this guy die already? Uh. Alright, finally killed the man. Alright, so now I'm just gonna try to be a char. Yeah, slice and dice me. Slice and dice me. Oh yeah, you can also use Q to kind of bam them like that. Right there. So you'll fall on the floor dead like this. It'll be like a little timer. 
and um, if there's a like an actual player, not an NPC on you, there will be a green button that says execute. So then you can click that, and then you can punch. Them. And then like they'll punch you, and you'll die. But otherwise, once you get back to, to once the timer goes off, you'll just respawn. All right, so that guy's actually gonna do the dirty work for me. That's nice, but now I just want to kill this guy. Pop their faces. So this will take an awful while when you're this slow. But once you get higher, it's a lot easier to kill these guys. Like, on my main, I can one-shot them, so... Alright, so, what I also like to do is run up trees, and then charge up my chakra, since they normally can't get up here. And, um, the only way they can attack you is, like, with a long wing. Those are fairly rare. We don't use those very often. It's hard for them to hit you with them, so... Guys, if you have an auto clicker, I honestly just suggest auto clicking all the way to like level like a hundred or at least seventy. Like if you can just like do something else while you're auto clicking, um, because that'll make it a lot easier to fight these guys. You can just kind of like be a lot stronger. So another way that you can do this is if you have friends that play um, Shinobi Life or Shindo Life, you can um, have um, play with them. All right, finally I completed my mission. So you see how many times I leveled up there. So now I can get my other stats a lot higher. I'll probably put a lot in my ninjutsu just so I can do a lot more damage with those moves. So now you wanna, I suggest honestly just resetting since you'll get all your health back and your chakra back. Um, so yeah, also you can just like instantly travel there. Right now it's actually pretty close, like yeah, like nothing happened. But I have all my health back, so that's nice. Um, so now you just wanna run over kinda here. And if you look around, you'll see like, um, like if you're here, like, You'll see like an icon, like a little ramen shop icon looking thing. And then you'll find this place if you go towards it. It looks like a little ramen bowl, like this one. Just like black and white, like an outline. And when you eat, you see my ramen bowl at the side of my screen. We'll start getting like greener and greener. And like when it's completely green, that means you're full. And you can regen properly. Like if I don't touch my keyboard at all even, once I'm completely full, it'll just like hit me out of the place yeah, like that. Alright, so, now that we have that done, I'm gonna show you how to do some simple commands and stuff to help you. Alright, so, um, so first, if you have a teammate, then you can type exclamation points wad, and then if you're, and then the lowest one, and then the, low, the lower out of your team, will go to, um, the, one of the green school guys, collect the green school, and then the higher player will, um, um, complete the mission, and then you'll both get the XP for it, but, the lo so let's say you're level 20 and your teammate's level 100. So they're gonna be level 100, and then they're gonna be fighting your level 20 enemies. So it'll be really easy for them to kill them. So, now, the way you invite them is by typing slash, exclamation point, invite, then just, name. So you can have up to four people helping you. So, yeah. Um, that's gonna get you a lot of XP. Um, also, if you go into a server, normally some people, normally people will be able to, you know, just just ask if you, someone will want, to, someone can like uh, squad up with you, and most of the time people want to, especially if you're low, then like you can get quests and then they'll do them really easy, and if you're high, then you can help a lot of people do quests. But anyway, so yeah, and if you want to leave, you can type leave, and then you'll leave it. And if you are get invited, you can type exclamation point ACC and then their name. And then you'll join their squad. Um, and you can also, if you scroll in, you'll see that you have like an RP name. 
So you can type exclamation point, name, and then type in the name that you want. Uh, oh, that's... Is that how you spell Sasuke? Yeah, that's how you spell Sasuke. So then you can just have, like, this, for example. Um, and then there's also emotes, like, slash e sit, slash e dance, and all that stuff. Slash e sleep. And you just, yeah, that happens. Alright, um, so, I think that's pretty much it for the lower levels. Um, so, once you, so once you get to level 60 in your bloodlines, you can unlock these and keep unlocking. Um, and some bloodlines have modes, some Genkai. Um, so I'll show you how to, um, use those later in the video. So, now, once you have that, now, I just suggest you either keep green, using, getting green scroll quest, or, um, auto grind on the logs. Once you get past level 100, it's pretty much useless to auto grind, unless you're just doing it at night while you're sleeping, because it's just way too slow, you don't level at all. Um, so, I hope this helps you, um, I have a Discord, so it'll be in the description, so join that. Um, so I'm gonna quickly go onto my main and show you how to use your higher power moves and stuff. Oh, so here's my main, so, if you go to your menu, go to your bloodline, if the equip is, like, white, then you can, like, click the equip. And then, like, you see down there, the C kind of, like, fills up. So with my Sharingan, for example, if you hold down the key, it'll equip my Sharingan, like this. And then, at certain levels, you unlock higher weight, like, higher, um, mode levels. So just, um, so when you have your mode active, just try holding down C and then 2, and then if it does that, then you can do it, use it, and it'll probably have better stats and stuff than the... Um, first mode and you can just keep doing that all the way like up to how many numbers you want but um so if it just does nothing at all like let's just say i use nine for example it does nothing all right that was someone else okay all right i'm gonna try to run away help me all right so if it does nothing then that just means that there's no um higher level there's no level for that mode it's like higher so you're um, but, uh, if it has, like, a little notification, it says, like, you need level, uh, X, like, 1000, then you need, like, a level 1000 bloodline. So, for example, like, with my Sharingan, if I do, um, C6, which is the max level, I need level 1300 Genkai here. And so then, if you, some of them, if you right-click, you'll get, like, this little thing. Well, it's different for different ones. And if you do RMB, if you look down, then you'll see the RMB. Um, that means right mouse button. So some of so all the modes have RMB, um, C or Z pretty much. So for that one, I use um Tamarasu. And some of them, like the Susano, if you do RMB and then you click Q, I fire uh Indira's arrow. Or so. Now, if you hold down Z, if you have a mode equipped in Z, you'll go orange, and then you'll like, get your rocks around you, and then you'll get a second mode. And then now, to use the special for this mode, you can click right mouse button and then Z, and you'll kind of like, do something like that. And so that's it. Alright, so that's pretty much it regarding the modes, I think. Um, they're kind of complicated, there's some videos just explaining modes. They're not, like, I mean, yeah, um, so, um, you can also find, uh, in the sub-abilities, some of them you can just unlock, like, the, the lock one, you just have to have certain stats, and use a ton of Ryo, but for some of them, you see, like, these scroll-looking things, that means you have to go to a certain location at a certain time, and then you have a small chance of finding a scroll. To get them and oh for modes also you can have two stacked upon each other like i have um sharingan while i also have minato's electrifying thing so um but back to the scrolls so like if you find one like playing around and you like can like click on it 
and then you'll have and then it'll be like a lock on it instead of a scroll and then you can like buy it so i got this is like the only one i have which is multi shadow punjutsu yeah so like they all have different stuff and the way you can find them is just by going here finding them and then just clicking what key you want them to to um so there's last thing is orange people with orange scrolls above their heads they'll be like just look like the green scrolls but instead it's like um instead of two scrolls looking green it's only one scroll thing and it's like orange so yeah that will give you a boss fight and then you can fight a boss and if you kill them they have a three percent chance of dropping a scroll where they spawn and then you can summon then you can equip them in the companions so I've got a few, they're pretty easy to get. Since you have a 1 out of 3 chance of them spawning. Alright, so... Uh, oh my god, I'm dead. Dude, please. Why? Why can you do that? So mean. So offended. Alright, so... Um... So then you can equip them to slots, so I have like this guy for example. And that's what he does. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, so they do different like jutsu and they don't cut they don't use up any um chakra, but they do have extremely long cooldown. So I think that's pretty much it for the basics. Um I'll make a video like showing all the locations for stuff. Oh wait, can I get my stuff back? Oh no, this guy's clutch. Dang it. Well, anyway, so I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, like and subscribe, because 94% of you guys aren't. So, like, 6% of you guys are, so thanks to you. But, if I see you, you better subscribe, okay? Because I can have, like, so many subscribers. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much it.